Uh, thanks for that question. Uh, as you know, Mindra Finance is a very carefully built organization over two and a half decades. Uh, we are probably in the top five NBFCs in the country. So as I step in, my first job would be to preserve all the great work that has been done over this last two and a half decades in making Mindra Finance such a potent and powerful financial player. Uh, and to do that, we have to continue to be pretty dominant in, in vehicle finance because that's what Mindra Finance is known as. Uh, at the same time, going forward now, we do believe we are at a scale, we'll be closing at close to a lakh crore of book this year, uh, that we start diversifying also uh, into other asset categories while maintaining our dominant position in vehicle finance. So yes, my, my focus would be to, one, do justice to the great job that Mr. Iyer and the founding team of Mindra Finance did all these years and grow the organization to its next level, keeping in mind all the objectives of profitable growth and a very resilient balance sheet. I think they're right. I mean, uh, you know, we consider ourselves today to be actually from a market perspective, quite undervalued. Uh, and you know, valuations aside, if you just look at Mahindra Finance for the last five years, we've had between 2021 quite muted growth. It's only from 23 onwards after COVID we've corrected. And uh, uh, we do believe our true place in the rankings is not where we are right now. Uh, we've, over the last many years, created huge amount of distribution capabilities in what we call emerging India, which is rural, semi-urban and parts of India, which, uh, you know, not many financial players have uh, created distribution. Uh, adding to that distribution, we are also very specifically diversifying into new asset categories like SME, LAP, consumer durables and personal loans. And with those ambitions of, of growth and with those ambitions of uh, executing uh, to our plan, we do believe uh, that we will, uh, uh, you know, achieve our mission 25 objectives uh, which we have set for ourselves. And I think Motilal Oswal has very correctly pointed out that if we, and we're in the right trend to achieve those mission 25 deliverables, uh, uh, you know, growth is a natural outcome of, of these uh, execution agendas. Well, that's an interesting uh, question. Uh, more importantly, because if you look at the used vehicle industry in the, uh, you know, used vehicle finance uh, penetration, it's, it's very low right now. Uh, you know, whether it is passenger vehicles, commercial vehicles, tractors, this segment has largely been informal. Uh, now, with Mahindra Finance being such a potential and a potent, uh, you know, vehicle financer, it just made sense for us to uh, increase our participation in used vehicle finance. So, currently, we are the number two used vehicle financer in the country. Uh, and by far, the number three is at a very, uh, you know, I would say a large distance away from us. We have plans to completely increase our penetration in, in used vehicle finance. Just to give you a number, uh, till about 12 months ago, we were, uh, used vehicle was hardly 13% of our incremental sourcing. Today, it's already 17% of our incremental sourcing. And uh, with the kind of distribution we have, with the kind of uh, dealer DSA connects that we have, uh, you know, in the market, we do believe we'll be able to significantly increase our participation and play in used vehicle finance. Well, uh, I think, uh, you know, the way in which uh, as a country we are making digital strides at a very fast pace. But we should understand that there's an India and there's a Bharat, right? And as a financial player who serves both these markets, I don't think uh, we need to uh, very, uh, in a very quick manner, impose ourselves on customers who are comfortable with, with physical. So the approach we have uh, taken is one as an organization uh, where we were in our digital maturity, we had a long distance to cover in our own digital maturity as an organization. So what we prioritized is to equip ourselves to be the most, uh, I would say, sophisticated digital financial player in the country, which means that we would have to uh, get our tech stack in place, uh, get our tech properties, our digital tech properties in place and invest significantly in our own uh, uh, ability to climb the rank in digital maturity. But when it comes to customers, as I mentioned, there could be some customers who are, for example, attractor customers. It will be very difficult for us to send them a link and tell them to do their entire journey online. So we are very cognizant of the digital maturity of our consumers and we partner in them in their convenience. But at the same time, we think it is our obligation to enhance the digital maturity of our consumers. Uh, so it's a partnering approach. It means that 
you know many of our loan officers help customers to evangelize them into how to do a ekyc bkyc process how to set up a nash mandate how to set up a upi mandate so we are in the process and we have a lot of interventions wherein we work with not just our customers with rural semi urban customers in helping them understand the benefits of adopting to digital at the same time the frauds that are associated with digital right because you've seen and you've heard about the amount of as customers especially customers who are not so literate are suddenly brought onto digital finance they become victims of fraud so we have a very holistic uh, play to get customers to migrate and get much more uh, i would say uh, aware and digitally mature but at the end of the day it is balancing between convenience of customers as well as uh, making sure that we are not imposing ourselves on them or making digital more uh, a kind of a, you know inhibitor for them to uh, get adoption uh, so uh, you know when we made that doubling the balance sheet it was in 2022 at that time we were about 62000 odd crores and uh, uh, we made this call out because we felt that a part to 120000 in a 3 year frame was not going to be so tough couple of things one we didn't grow previous two years so there was a lot of uh, i would say self imposed uh, restrictions which uh, which we had put in uh, post the covid period and just considering the amount of distribution the amount of uh, you know we were very well capitalized and also let's not forget the auto industry was coming was turning around the auto industry was also muted for about two years and then there was the supply side constraints with chips availability etc so there was a huge demand in the auto segment and which we could fulfill at the same time we had also announced our diversification plans into new asset categories like sme lab uh, personal loans etc leasing so with the tailwinds in the vehicle industry as well as the new growth plans that we had uh, we felt that doubling the balance sheet would be i would say a uh, a uh, you know a kind of a reasonable effort and a reasonable objective to have uh, but we were very uh, i would say uh, you know careful in saying that this is not our hero metric doubling our balance sheet was not our hero metric our hero metric was 2 and a half percent roa because the vehicle industry had these tailwinds uh, and we demonstrated in 23 we grew by our book grew by 28% uh, and you, we are on a good growth plot uh, right now also we believe that if the macros play out the possibility of doubling the balance sheet wouldn't be a very stiff task we of course have to see how the monsoons play out we have to see how uh, you know the interest rates play out because that's also not cooling off really soon but if that doesn't or the macro uh, enablers are not there we wouldn't shy away from reducing our growth aspirations because for us as i said the most important thing is profitable sustainable growth so absolutely as in uh, we are as i said we serve uh, you know 4 lakh of the 6 lakh villages in the country uh, because we have widespread distribution and we also uh, you know uh, operate out of dealer outlets etc so we have close to 1400 branches it is our aspiration to add 200 branches this year in a phased manner uh, at the end of the day distribution for a financial organization is about acquisition it is also about service and it is also about building trust Uh, because you cannot distribute financial so, uh, services only digitally consumers need to see you and come to you if they have escalations and reach out because uh, rural semi urban customers uh, have been duped by money lenders have been duped by you know so many uh, fly by night operators for them trust is very important and because for us emerging india is our playing field we do believe distribution is key in this process and we will keep adding distribution either ourselves or through partners uh, as we progress